I had some trees die over the winter, unfortunately. Uh, I, cut them all, I cut them down already, and uh, I guess now's time to uh, yank those little root balls out so I'll have a, a spot for replanting. I planted all these uh, Leland Cypress about four or five years ago, and I'm disappointed, but they're starting to die. I've been told that they don't work so well out here um, for whatever reason. I chopped these down a couple months ago with my Alaska hatchet, so they look mangled. Uh, I'm gonna pull them out right now. There's this one, one behind me, and uh, maybe I can get something else here this, uh, this spring. Um, come on, Gypsy. I, uh, most of my plants are all, all on drip. Uh, I like uh, the Earth Talon Point. It's good for, it's like a little extension and you can do a little, little weird things with it that you can't do with a normal shovel. Uh, the more you use it, the more little tricks you can find. Uh, I have no idea what I'm gonna be getting into here. Hopefully it's not too hard. Uh, you can pry pretty good with this shovel. Uh, this is the fiberglass one that I explained earlier. The point on the talon lets me get into uh, some of the V's of the roots sticking out there. It helps me to pry and, and, and break some of the, the medium-sized roots. Uh, you can hear them starting to crackle when I get under here. Uh, also, this tree, tree grew to the point where uh, I'll start to encounter some of the hard native soil. You can, I can feel it starting to go. Anyone, if you use a shovel enough, even with the strong fiberglass handle in the shank, you can break anything. So, you can see it flexing. Normally I wouldn't dig out a root like this, but I'm trying to illustrate how it's bending. And you can see the main stump wanting to go a little bit, but uh, we still got to work at it. I guess some people I know would probably just tie their truck up to it in some fashion. But since I already cut it, I don't really have a lot to get onto. And uh, I knew I wanted to test the shovel out. You can hear part of this is kind of feeling where the roots go. You don't know where they are, the, some of the taps. So as you go around it, find out where they are, get under it. Hopefully you can pry them up and you don't need a anything else aside from the shovel. Uh, the talon goes through these roots, the tinier ones pretty well. Uh, ones like this size, like ropey looking ones. Uh, the, cor the point gets under it and snaps them up. Uh, you have to be careful if you pry too hard on some of these bigger ones. You could damage the shovel. Uh, I've been doing this a while so uh, I, I kind of get a feel for what I can, what I can't do. Um, like I said, at some point, anybody who's done this knows that you may have to get a saw for some of the bigger roots. But we still got to get to them to see what we're up against. I'll just uh, dig and pry, dig and pry a little bit until I feel it's starting to go. I usually uh, also keep a big steel bar with me and a pick. Anybody who works here knows that as much as I want to pitch my shovel, it's not a one-size-fits-all project. I mean, one-size-fits-all one tool, uh, but it's a good, well-rounded tool. This is a, uh, a more extreme use of the shovel. Um, it may be more than what most, some of you all are comfortable with. Uh, I guess it's good, I illustrated a relatively easy example, but common, and now I come up to an example like this. Um, you can see all the roots I had to go through. I still have a few more at the bottom. Uh, I, it's just uh, slow and steady is how you get this thing out um, when, you're, when you're doing it this way. Um, you can see, even a small root can be holding this thing back. Uh, but I'm sure there's a, another one in here, a, a couple more in here, and I'm, and I'm almost there. A couple more shots and this ought to go. There it is. Ah, oh, one more. Woo! 
that's a workout. But it wasn't so bad. Like I said, the point helps get in between these little roots. So when you're prying, uh, helps snap these off. Um, maybe I'll wait for tomorrow to do that one.